Hey guys, Dakara here, welcome back to my channel. So today we're in episode 20 of season 11 of Supernatural. Cannot wait to get into this. Remember I have the full uncut versions of these reactions over on Patreon. So check the link below if you wanna see more from me, some extended episodes, as well as early and exclusive content over there. Right, so without further ado, let's get straight into this episode. Oh, little doggo. Me. Maybe. Always a pleasure, Metatron. What, you're a changed man now? Oh, don't make me like you, Metatron. Yeah, impossible. <laughs> Yeah, Toto. <laughs> I got a feeling we aren't on Earth anymore either. Hello? Are you shitting me right now? Carver Edlund? What the hell is going on here? What is this place? It's a bar. Actually... It's not just a bar, genius. This is one of the big man's constructs. I'd know his work anywhere. We were besties, you know. Well, I wouldn't exactly say... This is some kind of punishment, isn't it? For my sins. A limbo where I get to spend eternity in a crappy bar with a hack writer. Dude. Sorry, Chuckles, not just any hack writer. A prophet of the Lord. I can't believe we just seen Chuck just casually sitting there, like, what? Tell me at least the beer is real in here. You really think I'm a hack? Absolutely not, Chuck. Through your complete oeuvre, Oh, well, Published and on cracking pint pourer. <laughs> ton of books I've read in my lifetime. Supernatural didn't even crack the top ten thousand. Respectfully. You didn't like any of it? Mm -mm. Not even home? No. Or uh, all hell breaks loose? Oh, way too much melodrama. And then you put yourself in the story. God. Okay, that's fair. Mild continuity there. With the pint? Still doesn't justify you burning one of my books, though. <laughs> what are you talking about? Tall Tales. You were monologuing to Castiel and you threw one in the fire. Right. How do you know about that? Oh, I'm sorry. I always forget. People can't see me unless I want them to see me. It's very confusing. Here, visual aid. Put these on. It'll help. Go on, just do it. It's a whole thing. I have so many questions. You. God. Get out right now. The chills. Chuck is God? Come back. I can't believe you've come back. I, I didn't mean what I said about Supernatural. It's underrated, due for a reboot. And this bar, it's not crappy at all. It's just like the one in Cheers. Everybody knows my name. And the lights are <laughs> okay, very yeah, forgiving. Please. All the kneeling and stuff. It's always made me deeply, deeply uncomfortable. Just don't use the G. Just call me Chuck. Chuck? Chuck. Don't call me Shirley. Huh? I think I need a stiffer drink. Did I just witness that? <laughs> what did you just do, Dean? Lucifer, beating on Cass in the meantime. Yeah. Uh, Hope Springs, Idaho, guy named Wes Cooper. Oh my gosh. Chuck, casually God. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, it was some shirts. Dude, quit ironing my shirts with beer. Oh my, this episode's gonna be immense, isn't it? Oh, I've been super busy. Yeah, traveled, mm -hmm. 
Uh, started a blog, mostly just pictures of cats. Oh, <laughs> so cute. I love that. And uh, oh, I signed up for Snapchat. And I started a new series of books. Yeah, Revolution. I don't think it's going anywhere. Revolution. Yeah. Supernatural. Maybe titles aren't your thing. You're not wrong. <laughs> this show. This show. But why did you put on the Chuck suit in the first place? How did that make any sense to you? I like front row seats. You know, I figured I'd hide out in plain sight. You know, plus, you know, acting is fun. Well, it's an Oscar-worthy performance. But how did nobody know? I mean, wh what about that amulet thingy? You, you told me about it, some silly charm that burned brightly in the presence of you. You mean this? Yes, Dean had it. And your fave, Castiel. They were around you. I How turned it off. Never... See? I should really put this away. I am shook. I don't care about that ugly old thing or why you ugly? were slumming it with Excuse the plebes. Me? Let's brass some tacks already, okay? I wish I had mine on right now. You see and hear all. You know what an absolute piece of garbage I've been the last couple of years. I mean, I'm just saying. Did you bring me here to destroy me? One can only hope. You know what humanity's greatest creation has been? Music. I'm going to need you guys to explain some, some things, I think, for me. I'm hoping that you and I can tap into some of that old magic and finish what I started a few months ago. An autobiography of God? You wrote your autobiography. Ish. I mean, there are chapters, it's kind of a loose structure, uh, but uh, something's missing. I'm, I'm stuck. I didn't expect God to be like this. I did some of my best work with you, Metatron. Does this Ew. mean I get to be an angel again? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's never, never happened. It's probably good. a good call. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Wow. Let's do this. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe the what I'm an hearing in this case. We what don't really see things like this around here. What do you have on West Creeper? Has he been in an episode Talks of Supernatural friends, before? Family. Nobody can make heads or tails of why he did this. Not a character. Yeah, how so? Wes said that his life was meaningless. Nobody loved him. It was like every negative thought he had ever had came spilling out. Thing is, I knew Wes's wife. We sang in choir together. She loved Wes to the day she died. I don't know why he'd say anything like that. And then there's this. Hold on a second. I've actually seen something like that before. Oh, we have seen that before. Are you in a hurry or something? I'm on a bit of a deadline. Just give me some. Broad strokes. First impression. Is he doing this because he thinks Amara's going to end him, so he wants his autobiography written? Real good. Oh, man. That you bad. hate it. What? No. I love it. Love it. Last time I saw that look on an editor's face, I just hated it in bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this show kills me. Details are what make a story great. <laughs> this is lacking in some details. That tickled me. In the beginning, there was me. Boom, detail. And what a grabber. I mean, I'm hooked. <laughs> and I was there. I'm hooked too. And yet, details. You weren't alone in the beginning. Your sister was with you. Triggered. Who cares about her? Mm. Um... Me? For starters? I assume you're aware that she's out and about, tanned, rested and ready. I mean, that's why you're back, right? This isn't her story. It's mine. Sibling rivalry at a whole nother level, isn't it? Ooh, fog. Honey, you want to head inside while I call Who'd this in? Who'd have it? It's just fog. Hey, you know I'm the law, right? right see you inside, deputy. Don't forget your cuffs. Wanky. Hey, dispatch, this is 3 million 56. You got your ears on? Aren't you done for the day, deputy? 
I am. Listen, I know this might sound odd, but there's Something a heavy in the house. fog headed my way. We expecting any weather like that? No. It's supposed to be clear skies all night. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. That bad? I'll tell you, there's some great bones in there. I'm thinking what's missing may be less about detail and more about balance. How do you mean? You're giving the wrong stuff too much real estate. Like that chapter about being Chuck. Mm -hmm. And what about it? Once you've explained the Vonnegut performance art, that should be it. No one cares about the rest. I did some great stuff as Chuck. So Chuck has been God this whole time. Like this entire time. 